Hello everyone, it's Kate Stillman with Wellness Pro Academy and I'm here with Emily Glasser. And you cranked in your in your first like in your first pilot using our business model and now and now you're months down the road and there's this next level calling and usually before a next level calling there's the old self dying, which looks like failure and chaos in its mm -hmm. own way. And I know you're a seasoned Ayurvedic practitioner as I am, so we can bring in some of this language. Like mm -hmm. there's a way, if we look at the detoxification of disease process in Ayurveda, that there's perma karma that precedes pancha karma, which is where there's this like readying and pulling of the old identity into a, literally a physiological mass. It's a psychological and physiological mass that's then expelled through one of the detox channels of the body, which can be through the womb, it can be through the feces, it can be through the urine, it can be through the sweat, and it can also be through the emotional body through expressing, mm -hmm. expressing emotion. And usually it's like, multiple channels it's usually like a lot big shit show and then there's the rebirth and the next level invention and and all of the energy is aligned and gathered because it's no longer playing two parts right there's no longer trying to keep up with every day in a system that's overloaded with an old identity or a toxicity mm -hmm. and there's just uh, there's purity from mm -hmm. the transformation that allows very very deep communication and clarity an alignment of action and energetic efficiency towards an outcome that's just way better. Mm. So does that, does that sound like about what's going on? Kate, that was so beautiful. Yes, that's what's going on. Absolutely. Yeah. And feeling all of it. I mean, I, I do think like, I love the business model. I think the business model is just like spot on and it was so helpful. And you know, enrollment went really well. I mean, I'm at the two-year point and, you know, I've been enrolling successfully and feeling good about it. And, and yet I, there was like, yeah, just coming to this place of you, you said it, like, what is, you know, like, what is this that I'm trying to, yeah, put forward and, and really wanting to stand behind it and articulate it well. And, and this last enrollment, I just wasn't feeling so inspired, honestly. Yeah. Okay. So, one of the coolest things about the business model and mm -hmm. the design thinking that we teach in mastery, right, is that like you get to turn into the community to solve the problems. Like you get to turn into the community to figure out the next level of growth for the community. And so within that, like one of the things that I like to do is really redefine like what is it, what is the journey that we're leading? What is the journey yeah. that you're leading? What is, the, what is the next level community? So the community that's bigger than your current community. What are the prospects that are looking for you but not finding you and enrolling or are stuck somewhere in the enrollment process because of their own outdated beliefs that you haven't been able to effectively process with them so that they can get over that, so that they can pay to play, so that they can pay mm -hmm. to pay attention, right? And really get the results that they want in life, which will have a phenomenal ROI because we all see that by the time we've led a journey, as long as you have, we see that the ROI for our members is phenomenal. And yet people are like, I don't have the money. It's just, they don't know how to actually invest in themselves. So yeah. if we take a right. big, big picture of calling for you, and, and sometimes it's helped to do this somatically. So if you want to close your eyes, you're fine. Yeah. That's fine. That's good. It's like, what, what's the next level A to B? Like, what are you uniquely here to lead what's the transformation what's the where people start to the results they get that you're like we're doing that we're doing just that like that's it's already happening it's not something you're going to do next like you're already doing it but you're going to name it in a way that's true to the essence i i feel okay like it has something to do with like articulating my, you know, my avatar or, you know, just like niching in, in a way to get more specific with how I speak. And cause I, cause I've been just, yeah, selling this as, you know, come learn Ayurveda, come learn the habits and, and anyone is invited. And so in this moment, I, I do feel a connection to wanting to work with, with nurses like, or healthcare workers who have 
had experience with the Western, you know, medical model and, you know, wanting to bring them into understanding this consciousness. Is okay, so what's have. the result? What's the result that your members are currently getting? Well, they're waking up to themselves and they're waking up to, you know, this kind of, yeah, new level of, of thinking and feeling better, you know, physically, mentally, clarity, absolutely making better decisions for themselves in their lives. And what is the long-term impact of that? When you look forward of like, what, where is that going to go? How will that play out? Mm, Well, I think it's like, it, it essentially potentiates like really aligning with their Dharma and, you know, just to, to truly be expressed, you know, more fully in their lives in a way that they, you know, can feel good about and inspired by. And how would they say that? If you even think. It's a good question, Kate. Okay. I mean, I think people are looking for more joy in many ways, like just a feeling of not like fully participating, you know, is, is something that I get or yeah, just not being totally aligned but how would they say it? I'm not. Okay. I can try. Yeah. Yes. Help. please. Yeah, sure. So it's like working with Emily, being in Emily's group. I recovered my joy, my meaning, my purpose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I feel great. My inspiration. I finally feel great. Yeah. Yeah. My inspiration. Right. Great, great. You can open your eyes. Okay. That feels right. That's what you do. Yeah, I think that's that's, that's what, what I, I do. Think. Yeah. Then right. I just repeatedly like this is what I do. I right will guide you to recover your joy, your meaning, your purpose, your inspiration, and you'll mm-hmm. feel great. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Say that back to me. I guide you to rediscover your joy, your inspiration, your purpose, your, your health, and you will feel great. (laughs) Jump in, say yes. Yeah. What's so cool. Like for those who don't know Emily, like she is a joy ball. Like she's, you get like a contact joy hit. She's got this like gorgeous, it's a quality in our Ayurveda of kapha and water element that it's both, both contagious because water spreads, right? Like if I tip over my water glass, it's going to just spread out and it's going to kind of pull together. So it's got this ability to cohese. That's a, the key quality of water element. And so when someone has joy, which is also a, a, a kapha type emotion, and, and you can share that, mm-hmm it's really important to realize that like we live in a culture where a lot of people are depressed. Like a lot of people, if you ask them like day-to-day basis, scale of one to 10, how much joy is in your emotional body? My guess is you're actually going to hit a lot of zeros and ones. Like you, it's like really broken. It's really going to be low. Whereas if you ask them like how much stress do you experience? It's going to be, you know, just in terms of like, do you ever go through a day where you don't feel financial stress or you don't feel time stress or you don't feel stress from your body or that's probably going to be between eight and 10. So if your core word that comes out of you and your core essence is like, I can deliver on joy, like just through a contact eye. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So that's got to be. Okay the Quarter message yeah. okay okay That's and then the avatar stuff whether the nurses come or the, the whoever shows up like mm-hmm. it's it doesn't matter like in that you don't have to be so specific because you're super outcome specific so i'm going to invite you to get very very outcome specific the best way to do this i have found is to go into your community with a notepad and a recorder Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
to, to survey, to poll, to interview, to do focus groups, to do, we use liberating structures right now. I did one with PTL. You know, it's like really use the intelligence that's within the group and the group will love it because they actually need to recognize their own progress. Right. So the question would be like, what have you experienced in the last yeah, eight months. What's changed? What's improved? Yeah. What's gotten better? Yeah. And go through all the categories yeah. and you're just getting specific, specific, specific. And then your job as the leader is very receptive. It's very much in the divine feminine where you're just, mm -hmm. you're actually internalizing in your viscera, like you're internalizing the transformation that you've already provided. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In a masculine dominant paradigm, we're taught to put out and not to receive. And this is very somatic where we're actually letting that information of the transformation that we're guiding change us somatically because then it'll change you as a leader. Like you'll actually get on a very deep level what you've been up to the last two years. Okay. So yeah, okay. there's a business model with it. You've gotten that right. down. That's very external. Then right. there's this internal that you've actually guided deeper levels of transformation the business model gave you the structure for that. You're internalizing this, the feedback very specifically. And then you're basically allowing that to cohese into, mm -hmm. into groups or into pockets where you're like, oh, that we do this mm -hmm. and these are the words we use. And we do this and these are the, like, these are the guaranteed outcomes. This is the A to B. This is the B. Mm -hmm. And then you just start talking about my group is experiencing B. And that's your job as a leader mm -hmm. is to say what you're leading. Like this is what's actually happening with people that are under my structure that are within my tutelage is B. And it's fun and easy because you're going to get a contact high of Kafa, which is fun and easy. Right. So it's not this like heavy, hard road. <laughs> Okay, cool. Well, and Kate, the other thing that I'm really feeling like it, like inspired by and not so clear as to how to do, which is what you said from the very beginning is like design, like the ultimate experience, right? Like take all the pieces and all the things and like put them together. I guess when I really, you know, think about that, it's, it's, it's a high price program, you know, because there's just all these asks, like, yes, I want you to you know, do this and take this and, you know, do a poncha karma. Like I feel the part of like the inaccessibility to joy is literally just like the toxic buildup in people's systems. And, and like, great. Let's, so let's, let's take that. So then the, so there's the reality of how good someone could feel how fast. Right. So like with a year at a VIP price point and a year mm -hmm. at a regular group price point, right? So now if you look at it that way for someone, so for those who don't know PK, this is the, this really, really beautiful process in Ayurveda where you detoxify the body of disease. It's insanely effective. People like Emily and I are trained in it. We rely on it personally. It's, it's, this, it's, this, it's, this, it's just like, a, it's a game changer of the highest order. And, and most people want to invest in it. Most people who are doing PK don't actually run a journey, the coolest experience ever, to stabilize the effects of the Panchakarma. So the people in our Wellness Pro Academy who have the Ayurveda training, who are running PK mm -hmm. and leading the journey, they're marrying those two. So there's two ticket levels. One's the without PK, without all the hands-on, one-on-one guidance to detoxify disease from the body. And disease can be from subtle to gross. Let's just be super clear. Like people are ultra healthy, do this to accelerate consciousness, neuroplasticity, stem cell growth, internal stem cell growth, internal growth hormone at any age. Like it's pretty phenomenal. And then people who are diseased are just like, I want to be on the, I want to be on the healing side of this. So we have two price points at this point. And so if you design for those two price points, you might also find that in this, because you're in a really cool period where you get to reinvent the whole thing. Yeah. And when yeah. you do, you're going to find like you're inspired to market the whole thing. Right. At the group level and the group plus VIP level. And so the price points on that, the ROI, and this is important 
the ROI is phenomenal. And so the ROI has to be a huge part of the marketing education and sales oh. education process, okay. period. Because people don't have it. And we've been talking about it. If you, if you haven't missed the last two months of YHC, and those who don't understand, YHC is transitioning into Wellness Pro Academy. You haven't been in YHC. Listen to the two months of like YHC, the general coaching calls with me, because I've outlined how to do this. Like in the last, if you listen to the last four coaching calls, you're going to get different chunks and reiterations of that. And I would just mark out three days go somewhere or be at home, but make it a sanctuary. Okay. Listen to those, map out the like, what are okay. the beliefs someone's going to have to overcome on investment and return on investment on money and spending mm -hmm. in the group level and on the group plus VIP level. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. once you externalize that, because you know it, yeah. I know it. Totally. But if it's not mapped out into a journey, a customer journey map, yeah. and you have that in your mastery training, the customer journey map, so customer journey map that, and you'll be freaking on fire to be like, I must yeah. leave these journeys. Like, it's yeah. the ROI is you. Yeah. yeah. And people right. have no idea. They have no idea. Just like... If you're eating conventional food, you have no idea what biodynamic local organic food even tastes like. Like you have no idea. No idea. Okay. All right. Cool. I love that idea. Great. And that's all right. Sweet. And then I want you to use your intuitive powers that you've gained as a yogini and just call them, call the next members in. just call them in. Okay and receive them like they okay. will show up and look for the synchronicities like don't force them but just receive them you'll start to notice them just tune in you're just mm -hmm. going to tune into a higher order because th these people are all around you and they're trying to find you yeah. and you've done certain things to make it harder for them to come in mm -hmm. you've built certain walls i have too mm -hmm. and part of it is like niche target marketing and the this or the that or part of it is not they're speaking in your language rather than the results oriented language of the people that are in your groups, the simplicity of like, you'll recover your joy, right. you'll recover okay. your purpose, you'll recover your time, you'll recover having an amazing time every day, like you'll recover joy, like you just keep saying the same thing, like you, because like, they're not going to believe you, <laughs> I mean, you're embodying it and speaking to it and they're just like, give me some of what she's got. Okay. And you're like, the way you get what I've got is you come into the group. Yeah. If you're sick, and you want your health back, yeah. you go into VIP okay. because the stakes are too high. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or if you're super evolved and you're super conscious and you're not sick, but you want to explore your mm -hmm. biological meets mm -hmm. evolutionary edge, you go into VIP. Kate. Okay. Yes, totally. Simple. All right. Good. <laughs> so tell everyone i mean the business model changed your life so working with us oh. tell everyone what that was like your a to b with meeting me and being you know because you put your money where your mouth is you did the program you implemented in real time you took the action you got results what changed where were you and what changed well i think you know, just structuring, like how I organize and how I, you know, do what I do. I've, I said, I, you know, cause I ran an Ayurveda practice for eight years before I joined YHC and Kate, I wish I had like joined a program like this, like your program, like in the beginning of, of running that clinical practice. Cause it just, it completely helped me to, yeah, just communicate in a different way to sell in a different way to you know, create a package that I could offer as opposed to, yeah, like waiting for, you know, people to kind of come to me and, you know, like, let me know what they needed. It was like, yeah, let me articulate for you um, what it is that I offer and, and align that with what I know you need. I mean, it's kind of, it's, it sounds ridiculous in the moment, but yeah, it was like, I didn't, I didn't have that orientation. So it was just fantastic to have such a clear delivery of like, this is, this is how you do what you do and um, paint by numbers, literally, Kate, it's brilliant. 
but I was grateful for just how easy it was to do exactly what you said. You know, I mean, that's like, I didn't need to like reinvent the wheel or, you know, try to like, and now I'm interested in like refining the wheel and like, you know, creating like, just like you said, right. Like run my thing, you know, and, and do this and get comfortable. And, and that's what I did. And so, yeah, it's just, it's been phenomenal and, and just, the orientation around like investing in myself. Okay. Like that was the bigger, biggest investment I had ever made, like in myself. And literally had I told people in my life that I had paid, you know, for a coach for two years, what I, I mean, they would have thought I was insane. And so I didn't tell a soul. It was like my big deep secret that I hired Kate Stillman as my, you know, two-year business coach. And yet it just within weeks paid itself off, you know, it would be not weeks. It was like two months. I think I had, you know, brought in and an $80,000 program, right? Like enrolled that many people and, and made that money back. And so it's just, it works. And yet in our society, like it was interesting that I couldn't tell people in my life that I had invested in myself because they would have thought I was, yeah, not making a, a smart choice based on kind of the circumstances of closing my practice and pivoting that I needed to be you know, more, I don't know what I needed to do from their perspective, but it wasn't invest in myself for sure. That's so cool. Cause that was like through COVID when so many people just stopped. I've talked to so many wellness pros who just stopped earning and then to see that. Yeah. So in terms of trading dollars for hours versus having leverage and impact and income, like how has that changed you, your opportunities, your life? Oh, well, I, I mean, I, I'm not, totally sure about this, but I say that I feel like I work like an eighth as much as I used to. Like I used to work like a dog, you know, and, and I'm, I'm working about an eighth of the time. I'm making as much money as I was making it's. And so I'm, my life is, it's completely like more joy, right? More fun. I mean, it's like all the things traveling I get to, yeah, just really, I'm still like reinventing myself. I'm still getting to know myself outside of just, you know, like working like a dog and not really having a life. So it's, it's been incredible. And the creativity, Kate, like that's the point I'm at right now is really tuning into that. Because, yeah. you know, when you're just working and exhausted, right, there's no space for creative expression. And, yeah. and that's been the inspiration from you is like, how can you get into a place where it's just creative expression, right? And you've got it so organized and so figured out that you're just in the creative yeah. zone, right? And so that's been like awesome. And, and how old are you now? 41. And so when you look at this next, you know, other five years or 10 years, however far out you want to look, and you look at like, you have the business model that grows, mm. that grows you, it grows yeah. exponentially, yeah. it's scalable, the impact scalable, yeah. the income scalable, yeah. and that you get to just relax into that because like you've already laid the track, like you yeah. get it, like nothing has to really change in marketing, sales, business model, onboarding, like it just gets to get better. Like it just gets to get more pure, more true to you, more true to your community, more mm -hmm. true to your unique genius as healer in community, guiding mm -hmm. and leading the way. Like, what do you get, like when you really look back and like see where you could go, what do you see? Wow. <laughs> Well, I, I see, I see groups of, of really inspired, empowered women, you know, doing, doing this together and supporting each other and, and just the power within that, like I'm into the feminine power. Like I believe in it like deeply and I feel, yeah, like this is the moment, you know, for women to like get their bank accounts in order and to get their like you know, their essence really clarified to, to do, to, you know, work as entrepreneurs in our lives and, and really express our particular joy, you know, it's so, yeah, like that makes me excited to be surrounded by women, like on fire in that way. Like how cool. Good. That last minute, that's your message. Okay. All right. That's what you're here to do. That's what okay. you're doing. Okay. And you're just going to let people know this is what's happening and okay. you're going to get better and better at that. And so the okay. coolest experience ever, the group membership pass, like 
you just get to focus on like what leads to that faster, mm-hmm. easier. And that's exactly it. And you're right. Like there's this connection, this last connection between like the, the planet mm-hmm. and all of our relationships, mm-hmm. but which is the world mm-hmm. needs women to be in their joy. Yeah, totally. And your work is to reignite that and to re-inspire that and to reconnect those dots and to go into the ease and the love and the, the we're living from there. So good, Emily Glasser, uh, Ayurvedic you. practitioner, <laughs> extraordinaire. Yeah. Okay. And where can people find you, Emily? My website, emilylglasser.com, G-L-A-S-E-R.com. Yes. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful, Kate, for the path you've paved and the orientation that you give. It's, it matters and it works. <sighs> yeah. My pleasure. <laughs>